ladies and gentle bunnies. Lend me your bunny ears, for they'll need a good clean out after all they've been subjected to after the last week and a week or two. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I'm talking about the great Peter Slipper to you. Mr. Slipper. Mr. Slipper, I say it's A-OK. -okay. Vaginas do look like muscles. I have always said so. And is that a bad thing? Let's get real, people of the Parliament. If you text a friend saying the last ding-dong you saw reminded you of a pork sausage, does that mean you're a hater of men as far as the eye can see? Or is a reference to seafood a nastier insult than comparisons to a piggy wiggy oink 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 oink? <laughs> <clears throat> well, let's face it, lady bits do look like those tasty creatures of the sea. Or, as slippity doo da day delicately put it, sea dot dots in brine. Yummy, yummy, my favourite. Oh, and guess what? The old ding-along-dong does look like a questionable yard of salami, too. Well, we hope it's a yard. And I speak for many folk when I say we do like to do the hard yards. But since nobody seems to be admitting that the male genitalia reminds us of open day at the butcher shop as much as the female equivalent reminds us of a seafood souffle, we've had to tolerate the unseemly spectacle of the mad monk from the opposition swinging his salami in the name of feminism as Miss Gillard beats it off with a bang. Not pretty. Ugh. It must be said, though, it has been an excellent week for protein. Until next time, good night.